So this hunt started off as just a normal, typical calling in kudu hunt and I was trying to find some decent bulls. Well it changed very quickly when we spotted a massive bull. Except for this thing took so much effort to be able to get. But in the end, it was so rewarding. Alright, so we're about to try something that we've never done before and that is attempt an over 200 yard shot with the recur bow on this Cape Buffalo. I have absolutely no clue where to aim, but we're gonna find out if it's possible. And I'm not sure if we're gonna take the bedded one down or the one that's standing, but we'll decide here pretty soon. All right, I think we'll take this one here. It's gonna be 230 yards. Let's pull back and see what happens. So that's 80. That would be like 160. Maybe that should be 250. With the wind, that has potential. Not even somewhat close. We literally dropped like 15 yards below that thing. So that means we're gonna have to hold like way up here. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. We shot just a little bit high. That's all we did. Oh, kudu. There we go. All female. And that's a nice male. A nice male right there. Not huge, but nice. Definitely nice. So let's kind of keep an eye on him. And see where he's heading to. I'd love to be able to call him in. But I just don't know if that's going to be possible. He's a little bit too far. All right, I believe we can do this. That had potential. Oh my God, that thing literally went three inches over his back. Oh my God, it's so close, it's not even funny. All right, enough of that. We uh, definitely had a couple of attempts. Failed miserably. But now we're going to try and call in these kudu. And I think I just found him. Just spotted something right over there. Yeah, jackpot. We found him. All right, perfect. So there's actually a really nice opening right here where we're going to set up the tripod. First, we're going to put the 420s in. And we'll put the collar out and we should be able to call in this nice bull kudu right past us here into range. According to this, they're roughly 215 yards out from us. So we'll get just a little bit closer. Oh, right there. All right, that is about 180. So that should be good. And there's our bull. There he is right there, as a matter of fact. All right, now we're going to set up the collar right here. A little bit behind us. And we'll put our tripod right over here. All right, they're still there. Perfect. Let's get up and get ready. And they're up. Here they come right here. And look what's coming in already. Our bull is coming in. He's about 115 yards out, slowly working his way in. Now there's also a chance that there could be another herd of kudu over here as well that we could potentially call in that we didn't even know was here. So that's the awesome thing about this caller is that it calls in animals from all around that area. All right, we got our caller right there at about 35 yards out which is a perfect distance to take a shot with this new recurve bow. Looks like she's gonna stop right there at 30. And he's coming out here roughly 40 yards away. We gotta get him to step out just a little bit more. Ooh, that's in range. He's 40 yards right there. The thing is though, we don't know where he's gonna stop. We got to make sure we know where he's going to stop before we pull back. Okay, now he's 
50. I do think that we're going to have to do a little bit of enticing here to get this bull to come closer. Maybe we'll try some snorts. See if that'll work. Oh, that may have definitely worked. Look at him coming in. There he is right there. All right, he is coming right to the collar. And now he stopped out there at 52 yards. A little bit of crosswind, but... <sighs> we were just about to take a shot on that thing. 50 yards is no easy shot, especially when you haven't shot that far in a while. Okay, so now he's actually stopped behind us here. Which is not ideal. Let's see if we can't get him spun around. There we go, there we go. Okay, so he's still about 50 yards out there. And a very difficult angle as well. Not gonna be taking that angle for a shot, I'll tell you that. All right, we'll turn the collar off. And then turn it back on. Come on, just turn. If it turned broadside, we could take that shot. Oh, oh, there we go, 40 yards. That's what we want right there. That's exactly what we want. Right there. Oh, can you say perfect shot? We got him. 42 yards. Nothing even knew what happened. And I'd love to find some more kudu. I know we got some around here. I'd love to find some huge fours. Or at least some big gold potentials. All right. Let's grab our collar. And here is our kudu. Ended up getting an incredible double lung shot at 40 yards out, a 132.59. And he weighed 190 pounds. So a fantastic shot there and a really decent bull kudu is down. Nonetheless, that's our first bull called in with a new caller. Again, it's not a giant herd, but there's a couple of decent bulls out here. And we just spotted them bedded way down on the bottom of this ravine here. There's for sure a decent three, which I believe is about the same size as the one that we just got. And then there's a couple twos and I don't know what else is in there to be honest. But I do know for a fact that there are for sure six different kudu in this one herd. So that's quite a bit. And there could be anything in there. Also, it's really thick over here as well. So who knows? We might be able to call in a completely different herd. All right, well, somehow, apparently, they can see us from over here. I'm not sure exactly how, but they can. So anyways, we're going to set up our caller right here. And we'll have to set up our tripod over here somewhere. Hopefully, we can set it up without spooking them, but it's going to be tough. Well, first off, it would have to be able to... Oh, there we go. There we go. That could work. Okay. We're going to wait a couple of seconds here for that kudu to calm down. And then we'll set this tripod up. If I feel that it's a good range. Yeah, 180. That should be good there. Uh oh, oh, no, 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 no. What the heck? What the actual heck? Unless that's a separate herd. Yeah, there might have been a separate herd right here. Well, tell you what. Oh. That's a pretty big buffalo. And another one out there too. 280 yards. And again. We are not going to be trying to take that shot. Because we've already wasted a good 120 arrows. And connected absolutely zero times. Oh, they are. No way. No way. Oh my god, we're so lucky. That means that was a separate herd that spooked before. But... They're also not exactly coming into the call just yet. That's... 
180 yards and the caller is 10 yards behind us so it should be 190 yards there is no reason they shouldn't be coming into the call oh we got a bull right here look at this a small bull just snuck in 50 yards away from us i have no clue where he came from but that's pretty awesome he's coming right to us 20 yards away right there we're gonna have to hold low wow this thing is close smoked him still got him high super high but definitely got lung as well all right, so I'm thinking just maybe we should turn the collar off, try and get a little bit closer, and then see if he comes into the call. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but it's worth a try. Nonetheless, we got ourselves another bull down right over here. And it's gonna be a spine double lung shot. Hit him super high, but still came out kind of center lung on the opposite side there. 11 yards away, 115. Just a small little bull. All right, so we just got set up over here for some kudu. Now, there's no kudu coming in, but we happen to spot this massive herd of Gemsbok. And we have the caller, which does in fact call in the Gemsbok. We got a real nice level four male coming in here, but then there's also a huge three female right over there. She's a guaranteed gold. I'm not sure if she's gonna come in or not, but she just might. However, this male's coming in first and we're gonna get a nice opportunity for him. Right out here. Oh, look what's sneaking in behind us here. There's our big Gemsbuck. It's not the biggest one, but it's a good one. A real good four. I'm not sure where the heck that rest of uh, the rest of this herd of Gemsbuck went. There was a big female and a huge four in there. But I have no clue where they're at. So our big male's here. And one of these is going to be our huge female. She's over there. We're going to go for a shot on this guy. He's 38 yards. That is the perfect distance. Smoked. Absolutely smoked. That's what we tried to do, except for the other one was a little bit closer than that distance there. Anyways, he's going to pile up right there. And we're going to have ourselves our first Gimsbuck down using the new collar and the recurve bow. I know there's for surely kudus over here. There's always nice bulls along this scrub brush. But here's going to be... Oh, I thought he's going to be gold. 267 and we pulled off a very nice... 40 yard double lung shot. So great shot there, but yeah, he was 10 points shy of being gold. I do believe the other one probably would have been gold potential. But our first comes back down with the caller and the new recurve. Here we go. We finally caught up to a nice herd of kudu out here. There's actually two decent bulls in this herd. We got one three there and there's another three over there, which is a little bit bigger. Who knows what else is in there? You can't really see anything in this tall grass here. But then if you take a look over there, there's another herd of kudu as well. Um, in this herd though, it's only all females. Oh, we got some wildebeest way the heck out there. There's a lot of stuff out here in this thick grass that you really can't see unless you're right next to it. But we got the collar behind us here, so let's put out a call and see if we can't get these kudu to come out of this brush. And just like that, look at all the motion we have. We got one, two, three females. There's one of the bulls and there's the other bull there. Two decent threes. Nothing giant, of course, but hey, a bull's a bull. All right, our bull's stepping out into range here. He's going to be about 35 yards right there. And that's going to be in range for a shot. Now he's about 30. 
Oh my god, what an epic quartering away shot. And another super amazing shot, but that one there was so cool. He was literally quartering away spinning, and as we took the shot, he turned right into it perfectly. And just smoked him. Dropped him right there. Not only that, we doubled up as well. Very nice. But let's take a look at these kudu. First off, let's find out where we hit on this one. It was literally quartering away and we ended up getting a double lung, almost heart shot at 25 yards, 122.2, our biggest bull kudu of the day. But take a look at that spin. So had he not a spun, he would have been just like this and we would have in fact made a heart shot. But because he spun, we were still in the right spot. It's just that he turned and we got him right in front of the heart. Still made an incredible spinning shot though. Wow. And then this one here, I'm not sure where we hit. Oh, we did pull off a heart shot. Beautiful. Straight for the center of the heart at 30 yards. So 123.07. We just got a really cool setup here. So we spotted a whole herd of kudu. They are right out there. Probably our biggest bull of the hunt. And then we spotted a real nice level 3 Warthog guaranteed gold right over this ridge 150 yards out. So I'm thinking what we should do is first try and call in that big Warthog. And then we'll try and see if we can't get this herd of Kudu to come in. We'll put the caller right there. And according to this, should put us at roughly 210 yards from that Warthog. Which he should definitely be able to hear and come into. Alright, let's get this Warthog coming in first. Right there. Oh my god, that's him. Wait a second. That one's not quite as big. It's still a nice warthog. Don't get me wrong, but it's not our big one. He is, however, still gold potential, and that's gonna be our first warthog called in to the new caller. Let's get him to come a little bit closer. We got the caller right there. And he's working his way 33 yards out, so he's definitely in range. Look at this. Look at him try and then stop. Perfect shot. Smoked him. Right there. All right. Is our first Warthog going to be a gold? Nope. Not quite. 43.73 just shy of gold, but a beautiful double lung liver shot. 23 yards out. Nice Warthog there. All right, we just hit the absolute jackpot on all animals out here, including this huge mythical Cape Buffalo right out there. Then there's a Kudu right here, which happens to be a decent level three. And behind happens to be a giant level four guaranteed gold Warthog. So what we're going to try and do is set up the tripod well, pretty much right here. We're going to call in the Warthog first. Then we're going to try and call in the Kudu second. And after that, we're gonna sneak up and take down this huge mythical Cape Buffalo with the new recurve bow. All right, change of plans. We're gonna set up the collar here. We're gonna tuck in this brush over here. Since he's way too close to call into a tripod, we're gonna get right here, go prone, and call this kudu right in. Oh, here we go. He's coming right towards us. All right, we're gonna try and tuck in here and get some cover. And there we go. Yes, we have some cover. Perfect. That'll work. All right, we'll just hang tight right here and wait for him to step out into range. And here he comes in right here, 55 yards out, slowly working his way in around this brush. He's coming right in perfectly. All right, he's 25 yards right there. And he's actually attentive, surprisingly. Not exactly sure why. Okay. Once he steps out, we're going to have to take that shot. Oh, come on. You got to be kidding me.
Oh. The wind shifted and now it's blowing right towards everything and I think that's kind of how he got our scent. Got something trotting way out there. Another kudu. Of course, it's another female. There goes our big bull there. And... Okay, so at least the rest of our Cape Buffaloes are still out there. Oh! Holy! Oh my god! Giant bull kudu! Giant, giant, giant bull kudu! Holy, what a heck of a setup right here, guys. Oh my god. What are the odds of this? So we could set this up here. But the only thing is the wind is not that good. But I'm thinking that by the time he gets past us, the wind should actually still be pretty decent. And since we have our collar set up, everything is looking pretty good. I can't believe how big of a kudu we just found. He's just absolutely massive. We've been waiting so long to find something decent. And look at the size of that bull. Oh... The wind is just absolutely tremendous right now. There's no way this thing's gonna come close enough, but if there's a will, there's a way. And I guess there could be a way. So there's our giant warthog there. There's our huge mythical there. And now we happen to have this giant four coming right towards us here. But he's not gonna get much closer. He's 150 yards out and he's already locked on us. He already knows something's up. Um, I don't really know what else we could do. It's definitely a bit unfortunate. What we could do is maybe turn the collar off so he loses attraction. That way the wind will actually shift. And when it shifts, then we might be able to call this thing in. This wind was a little bit ridiculous, to be honest, because just 10 minutes ago, it was blowing this way. And now everything changed. Absolutely everything changed. Oh, there they are right there. Got two females. And there's our huge bull. Right out there. 270 yards out. Not exactly sure where he's heading to, but... He is calm. We gotta keep an eye on him. Try and get to a spot where we can set up and call him in. All right, he's calm. See, if he turned around, that'd be perfect. And now he's gonna trot right through there. The wind is still being very difficult. If we could just get around this wind. Oh, no way, no way are they gonna bed right there. Come on, bed, 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 bed. If he bedded right there, it'd be perfect. I don't know if he's gonna bed. Oh my god, no freaking way. He just bedded right there. Holy. So she's bedded there. Nope. Doesn't care. Doesn't care about that call. Man, I got one idea. That might work. That definitely might work. Come on, hear the call and come this way. Where are you going? All right, it looks like she's kind of coming this direction. So he should follow her. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Finally, it's working. He's 160 yards out and closing. The stupid wind is literally driving me wild right now. Like, honestly, it's so frustrating. It was just blowing this way a couple seconds ago. I promise you. And now it's blowing right back towards this bull. Right towards him. Not even just like a little bit, but exactly in his direction. Well, this female came right past us. But the big male, absolutely not happening. Oh, there she goes.
This one came right into the call here. We'll drop her. Okay, so the wind is kind of shifting now. But the question is, is it gonna be too late? Well, we caught up to our big bull kudu again. He's out there at 290 yards, but if you look at the map, you can see he's actually headed right out here. So I'm thinking that the only way to be able to cut him off and have a good win is to come in from the west side over here. We're gonna post up, we'll try and set up the tripod here and maybe be able to call him in to range. I've been trying so hard to get to this kudu and it just doesn't seem to be possible. No matter what we do, we can't ever come out on top. And it's mainly because we don't know where he's actually betting at. Like I have no clue. Well, I'll show you on the map. Look at, look at this. We initially found him like right here. Right, we spotted him trotting off this way. And... Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, that's gonna be him there. He's always downwind of us. Always downwind of us. So basically, we could have had him right here. Then we tracked him down here, lost his track here, picked up his track here again. Got him all the way down here. But if you go back here, that's probably gonna be him behind us. Because we got a female there. Ooh, a bunch of warthogs. Ooh, a big male warthog out there. Decent one there and another decent one there. Well, we might as well take this one down here. It stopped out here at 20 yards out from us. Perfect heart shot. And we dropped it. Now, is this bull over here? Because if he is, he should follow that female. Okay, so that herd there is actually the herd that was bedded from before. That makes sense. I don't know where this guy's at, but... We are going to go for a perfect shot on him. Take down another bull kudu. And it looks like this bull is coming in as well. 100 yards out. I'd like to get this big four to come in. All right, let's pick these kudu up here real quick while we're waiting for our warthog to come in. That was, in fact, a perfect double long heart shot straight through the center of the heart at 20 yards out and a 122. And the other one is right over here. And that was a double long, almost heart shot, 123 at 29 yards. So another somewhat decent bull kudu. Now, if only we could get this huge bull to come in. That would be pretty epic. All right, right now we're trying to call in this Warthog. We got him out there about 180 yards out. They should come into the call. Wind is mm, decent. For some reason, they're not really interested, so we're going to have to get their attention. All right, that should work. Oh yeah, we got their attention. Now, hear the call and come this direction. Nope, don't do that. Absolutely don't do that. I'm not sure why the heck he doesn't want to come into the call. But I really don't feel like waiting either. So if you're going to do that, we're going to do that. All right. We really need to find this big bull kudu. I 
thing is, at least the Kudu are coming into the call. That Warthog had no interest whatsoever in coming into the call, even after we got his attention. So I'm not sure what the heck's going on with that. We did kick something up a little while ago right here, and I want to see what it was. Looks like it was a female. All right, well, we didn't get our big bull kudu, but we did get this giant warthog down here. 49.15 gold. Pulled off a walking 214 yard lung and liver shot. He's actually a dark and he's got some really wide, super thick tusks. Would have been awesome to take him down with the recurve bow, but he's a little bit too smart for that. Oh my God, we found him. Oh my God. We've been trying so hard to figure out where this thing's gonna go. And honestly, I cannot believe we found him. So we had to go all the way back to where we initially found him in the very, very beginning. And we figured that he'd come back this direction eventually. But now the wind is shifting again. I don't know how to beat this wind. I really don't. It's going to be blowing right towards him. We got a good position. We can see down there. He's over there. So I'm thinking... Wolf Prout. Oh, there's even more coming across this road. Look at this. One, two, three females. I'm thinking if we set up on this road here, then we might have a decent wind. Watch him, watch him. Which way is he going to go? Which way is he going to go? All right. So, we're going to put our collar here. And... Oh, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. We got to shift over more. Oh my god, there he is. Oh my god, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. No way, we finally got him out here 115 yards away from us. Just come into the call. Come right into the call. Don't go that direction. So we got the caller over here a little bit behind us, which is perfect for the wind that we have. And here we go. No way. Finally. This huge bull kudu is about to step into range. I can't tell you how long we've tried to get this kudu. This is honestly like the sixth day of us trying to get this thing. We've gone out here early in the morning. We've gone out here in the afternoon. We couldn't find out where he was betting at because apparently that was a different zone. We got to be careful he doesn't go that way too much though. We really got to get him to turn and follow the rest of these kudu here. Because if he does that, we'll be setting pretty good. There he is. Definitely not 50 yards, way further than 50 yards. He's freaking like 80 yards out there. And the cycle absolutely continues. It's just so dumb. So dumb. I can't tell you how frustrating this wind actually is. All right, let's get over there and go take a look and see where he's gonna go. There's a chance he might bed down right back to where he was. The heck do we got over here? A little decent three. There's a chance he might bed down over here, which is where we saw him the second time last time. And if we could somehow get all the way around and have a good wind, we could maybe get him. But we'd have to get super lucky for that. There he goes right there. See, look, the wind just keeps blowing right towards him no matter where in the heck he goes. But I'll tell you what, if he beds down right there, we're going to swing wide left and come in all the way around this brush. We'll set it by that tree and call him right in if he beds down. So watch her, she should bed down right there. And if she does, he should follow her. Yes, absolutely beautiful. And he's probably gonna bed down right there as well. This time we're swinging wide left and we're gonna come in with a perfect wind. No more having a bad wind. I'm all over that. All right, where did he go? Oh, he's right there. 
We gotta get him to bed down first. And just bed it down. Right there. There we go, guys. We got him bedded down. 317 yards away from us. Now, we got our work cut out for us. So, basically... Ooh, that's a nice warthog. That's a real nice warthog. It's for sure a four. But... What we're gonna do is work our way all the way over to that tree. We're gonna post up right there. The wind then should be blowing back directly in our face. And we should be able to watch this huge bull kudu finally come in for a shot. Oh my God, I can't believe how long we've been trying to get this thing for. We're gonna set up our collar right here. There he is right there. He's a little bit nervous, which might be okay, actually. All right, let's set up our collar right here. And we'll set up our tripod right over here. I don't really want to set this up when they're nervous. Okay, there we go. They're calm. Oh, she's calm. This one's a little nervous, though. And so is he. Uh, I think we should be all right. Okay, that was a different kudu. I don't think that would have been our kudu. Just about had a heart attack when that happened. Let's start enticing him and getting him to come in. Because we got to do all we can to get him to come right now. When we have a good wind. Just keep on coming. Well, they're slowly working their way this direction. Can't tell exactly if they're coming in. Oh, this one's definitely coming in. And our bull is, of course, taking his sweet time to come in the back. Way back there, but he is coming this direction. Wow. These three are going to be right on top of us here. Luckily, we have the collar set up about 30 yards away, right behind that brush. So they should go to that collar. Don't think they're going to come right to us. Yep, but there he is. He's less than 115 yards away. Oh my god, finally. Oh, he's trying in fast now. Here we go. Come on. He's going to come right to us, isn't he? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He stopped out there perfectly broadside at 40 yards. Yes! We dropped him! 40 yards out! Whew. I think the wind pushed it a little bit right. We were holding center. And I'm pretty sure we got a lung liver. I think we were definitely a little bit back. But we for surely got lung liver. Wow. Yeah, that's dead center. <laughs> dead center. So that's going to be liver back of the lung. Look at the size of the horns on that thing. There he lays, right there. Hit him right in the center. Nice vital hit. All right. Let's get a cool picture of that. That's actually pretty epic, just like that. Especially the fact that you can see the arrow sticking out of it. Right like that, there we go. All right, let's pick it up. It's going to be a 140 goal that we pulled off an absolutely epic double lung liver shot. I thought we only got lung and liver, but we got a double lung and liver at 41 yards. 
So a very awesome shot and a huge gold full kudu. He weighed 197 pounds. Wow. I absolutely love seeing these big old four bull kudus. They're so rare and hard to come by nowadays though. But when you get one, they sure are special. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the comments down below and the ideas that you have for future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Wow. What a bull.